U.S. does not expect front line in Ukraine to collapse in near future. The U.S. has forecasted that Ukraine will manage to maintain its defense despite Russian attempts to achieve results by May the 9th, reports the New York Times. An unnamed senior American official told the New York Times that a confidential U.S. military assessment concluded that the Russians would seek to achieve marginal gains ahead of May the 9th. However, as stated in the assessment, Ukrainian defenders will not collapse on the front lines, even despite the lack of ammunition. Other American officials noted that Russia likely lacks the forces for a large-scale offensive by May the 9th. To do so, the Russians would have had to significantly increase their forces, which has not been observed thus far. Meanwhile, analysts within the US government specify that Ukraine will be able to stabilize the front with the help of new weapons from allies at best by summer and at worst by the end of the year. In mid-April, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Syrsky, announced that the occupiers had been tasked with taking control of the town of Chasiv Yar in the Donetsk region by May the 9th. As reported by the spokesperson of the Operational Strategic Grouping of Troops, Kortitsya Nazar Voloshin, the enemy aims to capture the heights on which the settlement stands to continue advancing westward. Moreover, on May the 2nd, Ole Kalashnikov, an officer of the press service of the 26th Artillery Brigade, named after Roman Dashkevich, expressed confidence that the enemy would fail in the task set before them regarding Chasiv Yar. However, Vadim Skibitsky, a representative of the main directorate of intelligence, stated in an interview with The Economist that the fall of Chasiv Yar is a matter of time, as was the case with Avdiivka. Apocalyptic picture of Ukraine's Chasiv Yar, which is under constant Russian attacks. The Associated Press has obtained exclusive drone video footage of the ruined town of Chasiv Yar in Donetsk Oblast. This particular town is under continuous attack and attempts to be captured by Russian forces. The footage shows Chasiv Yar, set amid green fields and woodland, pounded into an apocalyptic vista. The destruction is reminiscent of the cities of Bakhmut and Avdiivka, which Ukraine yielded after months of bombardment and huge losses for both sides. Not a single intact building remains in the town, with houses and municipal offices charred, and the town, once home to 12,000 residents, now nearly deserted. The Associated Press noted that capturing the town would give Russia control of a hill from which it could attack other towns that form the backbone of Ukraine's eastern defenses. This would set the stage for a potentially broader Russian offensive that Ukrainian officials say could come as early as this month. Associated Press stressed. On the 14th of April, Oleksandr Syrsky, commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, said that Russia was concentrating efforts to break through the Ukrainian defense west of Bakhmut, seize the settlement of Chasiv Yar, and create conditions for further advancement to the Kramatorsk agglomeration. He noted that the highest Russian military leadership had set the task for its troops to capture Chasiv Yar by the 9th of May. After capturing Avdiivka and multiple villages in the east, Moscow now has its eyes on the next primary target, the town of Chasiv Yar. Outgunned and outnumbered, Ukrainian troops are fighting against an over 20,000 Russian grouping to defend the strategically important town. Russia has already reached the eastern outskirts of Chasiv Yar. The capture of Chasiv Yar would make it easier for Russia to launch a broader offensive in Donetsk Oblast, a Ukrainian region that has been the scene of the heaviest fighting of the war since 2014. About half of Donetsk Oblast, including the regional capital, is currently under Moscow's control. 
Chasivya lies in the industrial region of Donbass, which comprises Donetsk and Luhansk oblasts. <laughs>